Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another art vlog. Today, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of progress footage on my Megan Thee Stallion painting that I started in my last art vlog. Let me just say, things did not go as planned. You will see, but actually you can't see because I'm going to blur it for right now. But on this painting, I had to switch up, go another direction, do something else because I just was not halfway through working on this. I was not feeling it. I was not, who had to switch up. I almost didn't include this footage because of the switch up and everything. And I just felt like I wasn't really making it very far, but I just want y'all to really see that things are not perfect. Things do not always go as planned. If you guys like and love this kind of content, please rate, comment and subscribe support me be a part of the family and if you want to see the progress of the megan the stallion painting the time lapse watch the next clip okay y'all so i just wanted to give a little voiceover with this time lapse i know this is something i don't always do but i really wanted to just pop in and explain that at this point in the painting i'm really going back and forth between what colors i want to use I was kind of battling between wanting to use flesh tones or actual like bright colors. So you'll see I'm adding highlights, I'm adding definition, but at some point I do kind of go back in and cover large areas with other colors because I just wasn't really feeling the direction I kind of started going in. So things was just all over the place and although I kind of got to a more finished date i was just kind of like you know i'm not really sure if this is working for me you know it looks okay but it just was not hitting the mark for me so it just got to that point where i just had to like <laughs> I know that was mad dramatic but I just wanted y'all to be able to see that this stuff happens all the time when it comes to art and at this point I decided to draw her on again and this time I wanted to crop her face a little different just to make it really interesting which is something that I've been doing in a lot of my most recent work it's just kind of cropping in on the face in different angles and such so I did the same thing here, but as you'll see, I am also using magenta and white paint to kind of create values in her face. And I'm also, you probably can't tell, but I'm also using this as a way to get the proportions and everything correct. This is a technique that I've done many times in the past. And I kind of was switching up my technique when I first started this painting. And I think that switching it up just wasn't working for me. At that point so I just reverted back to sort of that underpainting approach that I've always done before so you'll see that at this stage I'm just continuing to fill in her face and add those values and those highlights and just making sure all the proportions are together and after this, I plan to add more colors and play around with tones and things of that sort. But I'm not sure what the next, you know, look and stage will be yet. That's something that we'll see. Yeah, so now we're back. As you can see, now I can reveal to y'all. Yeah, there we go. So I can just reveal to y'all that I'm still at the beginning stages once again of this painting. For some of you guys who are familiar with my old process, I would kind of do an underpainting of my work and then I'll go and add more colors later. So I'm in the underpainting stage of my Megan Thee Stallion painting. And that's fine because you know what? It's not a race. I don't need to get this painting done in four days. I just started it on Saturday it's thursday no i started this on sunday it's thursday of the same week 
but I wasn't liking it. I wasn't feeling it. So I had to start over and really what you can learn from me and my experience with this painting is that things do not have to be right the first time. It's okay. You can start over. You can take your time. You can take a week. You can take three months. You can take three years. I'm preaching to the choir here, but I really want you guys who's really starting off, who's really getting into doing art to remember that it's not a race. It's okay. It's okay if you gotta take your time. Let me know if you like this content. Once again, please comment below. Tell me what colors you think I should add to this painting next. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.